Like I had a page, I had no idea how to use this. I'm a pro now. But I noticed that she came across a before and after picture of a friend of ours. And she said something about this company called Yoli. We had no idea what Yoli was. But that one decision that we made that day to have our little blue box, it was blue back then, overnighted to us and that it would change the trajectory of the rest of our lives. So Rick and I are here today to share a little bit about our life and how it's changed so much since we started Yoli back in that pivotal day. And I thought that we would share a few pictures because they're kind of visual, just to share a little bit about what's changed. So this is our family. This is shortly after starting Yoli, actually. So the girls are way young right now. We have four children. Our two boys are here today, actually. They're both business partners in Yoli. And they're rocking it. And my dad is here, too. So we're very happy that he could be here with us. So here is actually a picture of our dream home to us. It's a dream home that we were able to uh, purchase a couple of years ago. And then here is our Lexus that we actually replaced our BMW with that Yoli's been paying for for four years. How awesome is that? The trips. We're actually about to go on our 14th trip. We had to count that out. I couldn't believe it since the spring of 2013. We're about to go to New Zealand, which happens to be on my bucket list. Thank you, Robbie. Here is our first trip that we took as a family with Yoli. We've never been on a cruise before, so there's us with our family. And since then, the Mediterranean, the Balearic Sea, where actually I wasn't even kayaking, it was just him doing all the work. <laughs> we went to Rome. And then here we are this last spring, actually, in uh, the Caribbean for another cruise. And this is a Cancun trip. Both Jen's family, my family, we're all together. So we are creating so many memories. And you guys will be doing that uh, as well if you're not already. And since then, even, Bahamas, Jamaica, you name it. I can't even remember. That's how sad it is. How many trips that Yoli has taken us on that have never happened to me in my corporate job of 20 years. And this is our puppy, the white boxer Boomer, uh, who we just actually got a couple years ago. So we even have awesome dogs, isn't that cool? <laughs> and our little old lady Lucy, who you can't really see her face there. So why do I show you that? I'm not bragging, I promise. Although we are very blessed beyond, beyond measure. But I want you to realize that there's truly nothing, nothing in this world that you can possibly do or have that's of worth or value without a price tag. What do I mean by price tag? I mean the blood, sweat, and tears, the sacrifices that you have to make when you make a decision to start your own business. As a mom of four, as you see, Working full-time when I started this, plus a couple of part-time jobs. All the kids in three different schools and doing sports, we had to make a lot of sacrifices. But I made it a little more difficult for myself. Because I didn't involve my husband in the business, in the partnership of being able to do this together. It's all happy, Sharon. <laughs> Those are amazing. And I think back a lot about those trips, and uh, uh -oh. I truly appreciate every single one of them. I, I truly do. But when I, when I think about it, I, I say, um, if somebody would have told me that was possible when I was younger, I'd say, no way. That doesn't happen to someone like me. I grew up in a family of seven, five kids, three boys, two girls, me being the youngest. My father was in the military. Retired from there, which meant um, moving from country to country, state to state, home to home. And when we finally settled down in my hometown of West Branch, Iowa, when I was probably six or seven years old, we continued to move from house to house. And um, 
which I thought was normal. Most people would probably say that as uh, we probably lived in some of the poorest houses in the community, which is okay, that was fine with me, because I thought that's the way I was supposed to live. Yeah, I didn't know any better. And that's why I say, when I think about those trips, I say, well, that's not supposed to happen to me. Um, now I want to thank the founders, and I want to thank all of you for allowing Jeannie and I to share our story. It truly is, it's an honor. Um, and since it, Since it's uh, our story, my story, it's like a DVP, I'm gonna read it. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys don't mind that, uh, that I do because I, I don't wanna miss any, any important parts, especially about the part how Jeannie would be upset if I missed the part about how awesome she is. So. <laughs> That's highlighting in bold print here. I wish I could tell everyone I was on board with this Yoli thing from the beginning, and that would be a smooth sailing from the start. That'd be a quick and straightforward story. But super boring. We're all human. And just like the movies, we want to hear the, hear the struggles, the battles, and the gore. Because that's what we resonate with. So here's the real truth. I fought this from day one. When Jeannie approached me five years ago saying uh, her and her sister Jen were going to try this weight loss product called Yoli, I'm pretty sure I said, what? And rolled my eyes and, and said uh, politely, and remind her about uh, what this thought, what this stuff called exercise and uh, eating right. Of course, I, I didn't say it out loud. I said that inside. I'm not that brave. <laughs> <laughs> it, did, it didn't take long for her to prove me wrong. She had immediate success and lost a, lot, a bunch of weight and started feeling amazing. Being the good husband I, I was, I supported her. I was amazed at the weight loss. So I made sure to tell her how good she looked and how proud I was. Even though she wanted to scream inside, I told you so. <laughs> Thank you. And, and, as, and as I look back, I may have been a, a bit too supportive. Because before I knew it, she explained that she's ready to start her own business and become a distributor. I get immediately screamed, what? What are you doing? What for? I felt we had everything. She had been a successful therapist for 27 years. I had a good job. We had four amazing children and a nice house. So I was thinking, what more did we need? You see, I was confusing success with true happiness. I was blinded by so many preconceived notions about happiness and what a good life looked like. I'm ashamed to say it was me. I was putting up barriers, pretending everything was perfect, believing we were living life the way it was supposed to be. Funny thing was, I was creating walls just so I wouldn't have to change. I got so good at it that I convinced myself that we already had a perfect life. But what I did realize was that I was keeping her from her dreams. To my, to my dismay, she started this business, Jen, with a lot of hard work and determination. They became rock stars. The, the success was amazing and the skies were in. However, at the same time, so many things appeared to be right from the outside. I felt like I was losing my wife and my best friend at the same time. She continued to go after her dream with full force. At the time, she, continued, she, she couldn't help noticing my, my continued stubbornness. But she had a game plan of her own. She got my sister involved. Pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> and made sure that I was continuously interacting with people like Robbie Fender, Darren Poulter, Corey Citron, Bobby Jones, Aaron Street, and Kevin Miller. Super amazing guys, but guess what? They were athletes. She knew who I'd resonate with. Talk about a genius and knowing, and knowing your spouse. She was on top of her game. And this all happened at events like this. Before I knew it, I was in. Headed down the same path with her rather than against her. perspective, that story. It's pretty amazing because we didn't even really realize how prevalent the issue is um, within our businesses and our teams until just recently in the last few months when Rick started to be a lot more visible on social media and 
participating a lot more in our business. And we started getting messages and calls and, and asking, how do, you, how do you get your husband or your wife or your significant other, your kids on board with you? And so the thing is that I realized that I knew that I knew that I knew that I was supposed to be part of Yoli, part of this group and this family. I just didn't realize or know how can I articulate or put into words what I felt in here so that he could understand. So instead of communicating, what a novel idea, right? Communicating to a street talk, I decided I would just shut him down. For two years, I didn't talk about the goals, I didn't talk about the team, I didn't talk about the business. I avoided confrontation and arguments and fights at all costs. And so instead of being able to embrace the business and to have success together, we were like ships passing in the night. And so what I kind of realized now in looking back in retrospect as well is that any one of you, any one of us, can have that superficial success of becoming a diamond or a blue diamond. But until your relationship, maybe even if you're a single mom or a single dad, the, the kids, that relationship there, the family can wrap around the business together, true success cannot be realized. And the great thing is now we're here to show you that it can be done. Each and every one of you can reach your goal, whether it be emerald, diamond, double diamond, blue diamond, it's possible. And if there is a chance whatsoever that you get the opportunity to partner with your spouse or significant other, go for it. It is so powerful. So as you continue to um, break down those barriers, fight through struggles, continue to open the communication, share your dreams and your hearts, involve each other in shared responsibilities in your business and at home. And when you can do that, that's where the true joy and success is found. piece of what we've realized, we've had a lot of revelations in this last year or so, is that it's not really all about the stuff, the car, the house, the awesome dogs, the trips. Those are all amazing blessings, and we are so grateful to God that he has blessed us so much in that way. But when we can do this together and actually make an impact on other people's lives, people like this, Kim, she's here today, Kim Parker. Amazing, amazing transformation. She just happened to find me on social media. I didn't even know her when she started the transformation kit. Candace, a rekindled relationship that we had been college roommates 20 years prior, and she said no for three years before she started, and look at her amazing transformation, and it goes well beyond physical. James, James is here somewhere, maybe over here. <laughs> Uh, an obvious physical and emotional transformation, but a lot of firsts in being able to change his life uh, in so many other ways as well from Sioli. Kimberly, she's in Texas. Candace is a customer. You can see, look at that amazing transformation. Stephanie is here, right down here. She's had an incredible physical and emotional transformation and now is working very hard on that amazing uh, financial transformation as well. And she said no also for three years. So never quit asking. Emily is very special to our heart. She's a 12-year-old girl who happens to be on some athletic teams with our daughter, Kayla. And she, you can see, very visible physical transformation. But look at the joy in her face. It's absolutely priceless. Pam, Dr. Pam's here. Not sure where she's at. I, I should have put a full body shot in there. She's actually now a bodybuilder, so. <laughs> Amazing life transformation. Jessica, she's here as well. And she's a person who I never would have met had I not said 
something to a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend, and that's how I met her. And in the middle there, that's my friend Dave, a longtime friend. He reached out to us saying that uh, he needed to make a change in his life. After two or three months on, on, a, on a system, on a system, he, he tells us that uh, his relationship with his two daughters and his wife have never been any better. And that is so awful. <laughs> And here's the, here's the picture at the bottom here. It's, um, Jeannie and I was with Sandy and Darren. Um, I, I can't say enough about you two. Stop. <laughs> and, uh, and it's funny, with, with these two and the founders, they've changed our lives forever. And I mean that. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know a little secret here. People don't wake up one morning and say, I'm gonna climb a mountain, or I'm gonna go run a 100 mile race. They just don't do that. It's people like these founders and their wives, their families, and the leaders out there that inspire us to do things like that. They want us to be better every single day. They get us out of our comfort zone. Um, I thank you for that. Didn't know if I was gonna share this, didn't know if I could, but I'm going to anyway. Most of you guys know on that early part of July that uh, we, uh, Darren took me on this little trip uh, in, at Mount Rainier. We tried to climb it. Um, we were unsuccessful, but it was one of the hardest things that I've ever done, but one of the greatest experiences ever. Rewind to about three or four weeks before that, he took us on this practice climb in Mount Adams. And uh, so we're, it's a three-day journey, I believe. Um, day one, day two, it's awesome. And I learned so much from both of those guys. And uh, day three, we go, we go up ways, and we don't, we don't summon again, but that's okay. It, it just wasn't meant to be, it's practice. So as we're going down to the bottom, it's, uh, I, I believe it's a five or six hour um, hike down to the bottom, and we're going, and there's, there's a certain point in there that uh, Sandy and, and, and I are in the back, Darren's in front of us, and our team is up a little ways. And we get to a point where it's pretty steep, you know, it's kind of shaky on both sides. And Darren falls on, uh, on one point, and we keep going. And he falls about, I don't know, eight to 10 times. And he's doing that with breaking my heart because I just want to go, I just want to go run up to him, pick him up, say, it's okay, I got you, and we'll go down. But instead, what happened was, he got back up. He got back up with a smile every time, and he would look straight ahead and say, wow, that was a good one. <laughs> And over and over. And the loving wife Sandy is, guess what she did? She let him fall. She let him get back up. Because she knew that's what he wanted. And that's what he needed to do. And I will never forget that, that little trip down the hike. Because that's going to make me a better person today, tomorrow, and down the road. And that's mom with you, you, you founders. Thank you for that, every, that gift you guys give me. And the crazy thing about it is, if I don't get a partner with this beautiful lady on this Yoli thing, <laughs> I, don't meet the, I don't meet the founders, I don't meet all of you, I don't have any of this. My story's over a long time ago. Slide 
Now he made me cry to see that's what happened. The big picture that we want to share with you guys truly is that you're better together. So take our example and don't wait two years before you actually start to sit down and share your life, share your goals, your dreams with your wife, your husband, your significant other, your kids, because no matter what, you're better together. But if you're struggling, and you are having those tears and those struggles and those battles every day, know that it's possible, anything is possible. Keep pressing forward, and no matter what, the joy comes in the morning. Thank you guys, love you.